going from Town Hall 1 to Town Hall 11 in less than 30 days? Yes, it is possible, and I'm going to show you how right now. Welcome back to the Clash Tips YouTube channel. It's been a little while. I haven't played in about 9 or 10 months, but about a month ago, my 8-year-old son started playing Clash on his tablet, and he asked me, he said, Dad, what's the quickest way to get to Town Hall 15? Town Hall 15 at the moment is the highest Town Hall in the game. I'd like to get there as quickly as possible. So I said, you know what? This sounds like something that's exciting. I currently have a Town Hall 15, two Town Hall 13s, a Town Hall 12, two Town Hall 11s, a Town Hall 8, a smattering of lower Town Halls. And so I said, this is something new and interesting. I've never actually done a strategic rush before. So let me show you, son. I'm going to be super dad, and I'm going to show you exactly how you rush an account the right way. And this account, we have rushed in 30 days, and we are at Town Hall 11. So what are some things that you need to remember if you are going to strategic rush? Number one, get all five builders as quickly as possible. What does this mean? It means you need to save your gems. It means you need to get gems any way necessary because the only way to buy your third, fourth, and fifth builders for 500, 1,000, and 2,000 gems is to have gems in order to buy them. That means you can get the gold pass. That means if you are free to play... You can collect obstacles. That means you can play clan games and trade in magic items for 50 gems or for 10 gems or whatever it is that they're worth. You can buy a deal like this, which is absolutely amazing and something that I totally took advantage of. $3 for 2,500 gems. I use this. This is something that's only offered to some players from Town Hall 5 to Town Hall 9. If you get the chance to buy it, it is definitely worth it. But tip number one, get all five builders as quickly as possible if you are planning on rushing strategically. Tip number two, get to Town Hall 11 as quickly as possible. Now, there are two reasons for this. Reason number one is because Super Goblins is the absolute best farming troop in the game. You can steal tons and tons of loot and resources from any town hall as high as Town Hall 15, and you can do so easily. But the only place that they're available is if you have your gobs upgraded to level 7 in the laboratory and if you are at Town Hall 11. So reason number one to get to Town Hall 11 is to have access to super gobs. Reason number two is because this is when the timers start getting really long on your core defenses like your eagle, like your inferno towers, like your expos. And so the longer that the timer is, the more valuable that your magic items are going to be, such as a book of building. A book of building is so much more valuable if it's used on, say, a 14-day upgrade than it is a 3-day upgrade at a lower town hall. So, tip number two, get to town hall 11 as quickly as possible. Tip number three, the biggest question with strategic rushers is, what do I upgrade? Now, number one, this is going to be a hero-based rush. Heroes have only gotten more powerful, more important to attacks as Clash has gone along in the early days of Clash 2014, 2015, heroes were almost an afterthought, but now they are such an integral part to your attack that you can completely wipe out bases with solely your heroes. And so heroes are the number one thing you want to focus on as a strategic rusher. And so we must focus on heroes and always have them down, always have them upgrading in order for our rush base to be fun to play, to be successful, to get to the next level successfully, to be able to have heroes and armies that completely crush our enemies. Number two, what do we upgrade is going to be our storages. Number one, to get to the next town hall level. Uh, also with the star bonus, you want to keep your storages full. Also, eventually, you will have magic items where you can fill your storages and you want to, them to be as big as possible. And let me tell you, nothing is nicer than looking at a base and seeing those big, round, massive elixir storages and those big, golden, square, gold storages shining on a base. And with the Strategic Rusher, your storages are going to be the highest leveled items on your base because you want to make sure that you can get your town hall to the next level. You want to make sure that you can upgrade that specific army in the lab, which we're going to talk about in just a second. You want to make sure that you can do everything that you need to do. So upgrade your storages. 
Number three, upgrade your clan castle. You have to focus on this every single town hall level. Again, with the star bonus, you want to make sure that your clan castle is big enough to hold all that bonus loot that you're going to get every time you upgrade your town hall. You're going to get four times the star bonus loot, so you want to make sure you have enough room. Number four, upgrade the suggested elixir upgrades, meaning army camps, spell factories, barracks, all your gold you want to throw into walls. In fact, any extra elixir you want to throw into walls too, but make sure that you're upgrading your elixir items as you go through each town hall, especially your army camps, spell factories, and barracks. Number five, make sure you're putting down your required defenses. There were a few times when I had all of my elixir upgrades done and I was ready to rush to the next town hall, but I hadn't put down an archer tower or I hadn't put down a required building in order to upgrade to the next level. So make sure that you got your required defenses down on your base because they will sneak up on you. You will max out your walls at the lower town hall levels and you want to make sure that your next town hall is upgrading to the next level. That way you can take benefit of having that extra loot that you can throw into your walls. Lastly, we will go more into this in a later video, but if you finish your elixir upgrades, then focus on upgrading core defenses. Now we're going to be hanging out at Town Hall 11 for a little while, which means that we might have enough builder time to upgrade some defenses. Now we're going to have all three of our heroes down at the same time. We're going to have our king, our queen, and our grand warden down. Right now our grand warden's at one, but we are going to be putting, putting him down very soon. If you do upgrade any of your defenses, you want to focus on your core defenses. The reason for that is because those core defenses are very difficult with lower level armies. So that's going to be your Expos, for example, that you get at Town Hall 9. That's going to be your Inferno Towers, which you get at Town Hall 10. That's going to be the Eagle, which you get at Town Hall 11. So upgrade those core defenses first. But one caveat is you want to make sure that those core defenses are one off of max. Now tip, what's the reason that I want these core defenses to be one off of max? The reason is because if you have a book of building, as we discussed earlier, if you have an eagle that you're taking from level 2 to level 3, and level 3 is max for that town hall level, then you want to hold off on upgrading it for when you get a book of building, that way you can smash that book of building down. You can upgrade a super long hold wait time upgrade in that eagle, and you have a very efficient use for your magic item, which is that book of building. Now, as a strategic rusher, let's talk a little bit about your lab upgrades. So I've been playing for a long time, since 2014, on and off. And Lalo has been around since the beginning. In fact, it is a powerhouse of an attack. And there's a reason why you see it at Clash Worlds every single year, year after year, used as one of the most exclusive attacks. In fact, absolutely no one is known for their OP Lalo attacks, right? I, not this guy. I, I have no idea who this is, and he definitely never uses Lalo, right? In fact, none of these guys use Lalo, ever. Anyway, my point is, my recommendation, learn how to Lalo from the beginning. If you're going to strategic rush, this is an easy army to upgrade quickly because you have access to loons, number one. You can upgrade them from the get-go. You have access to the lightning spell, number two, which is one of those spells that's used in all town hall levels. You have access to the rage spell, which is super beneficial to a Lalo. We're going old school Lalo here with a rage spell over a hay spell, but you get access to that rage spell early. So number three, upgrade your rage spell. And then when you get to town hall nine, you can upgrade your dark barracks so that you can start upgrading your lava hounds, your pig dogs, flying golems, whatever you want to call them, but focus on Lalo upgrades. Now, the other thing that you want to make sure that you upgrade in your lab, as you're going, as we already discussed, is your goblins. Again, super gobs are the best farming troop in the game. So you're going to upgrade goblins alongside of your Lalo comp. Now, once you're at Town Hall 11 and you have your, your core Lalo troop comp upgraded to max at Town Hall 11, you want to focus on Lalo supporting troops. That's what I'm going to be doing, which is, number one, your minions. Those are going to be your cleanup troops. Your golem, so that way you can have a golem out ahead of a Sui Hero entry if you're going to take down a queen or a couple of ADs or an Inferno Tower or an Eagle or whatever it may be. Golems are a great defending troop troop to throw out in front of your Sui Heroes in order to be able to get the value that you want to get. You want to make sure you upgrade your wall breakers so that you can get your king and your queen into the base 
You want to focus on upgrading your heal spell. A lot of times at the end, if I'm doing Lalo and I have a multi-target Inferno Tower, I need to heal through that multi-target Inferno Tower, and so I'm going to upgrade my heal spell. Then lastly, Wizards and Baby Dragons. Those are going to be used for funneling. They are excellent funneling troops. Wizards get things down very quickly. Uh, baby dragons are excellent to use in certain situations. So that is what I'm going to be upgrading in my lab as a strategic rusher. Those are my tips for doing a strategic rush base. This is the first 30 days for me. I am super excited at where this is going to go. This is a fun new way to play the game. If this is something that you are interested in doing, I'm going to be posting regular updates on this base and how I am rushing it. We're going to rush it all the way to Town Hall 15 strategically, individually. We're going to be doing lots of cool stuff. So follow here if you are interested in watching how this base does. My name is TipDog20. Make sure you like and subscribe if that's something that interests you. Until then, I will see you next video.